Do you find it difficult to feel comfortable or confident on camera? Well, if you do, you're not alone. And this is the first video in a mini series I'm doing on how to feel comfortable and more confident on camera. And today we'll be looking at what you can do to prepare before you even start filming. So stay tuned. Hi, I'm Demelza Marie with Creative Online Courses and I have over 15 years experience in video production. Now if you want to improve your video so that you can increase your watch time, professional credibility and feel good about your production quality, then check out my free 30 minute masterclass where I'll give you 10 top tips that you can implement for your videos right away. So don't be held back by lack of production know-how. These easy tips will propel you forward whatever kind of videos you plan to make. Get access to your free masterclass right here. Hi, Demelza Marie here with Creative Online Courses and on this channel I guide you through tips and tutorials to crush it with visual media and produce your online courses like a boss. I also go behind the scenes with a vlog of what it's like to be a mom entrepreneur so if you're new here please consider subscribing. As I mentioned in the introduction we're going to be looking at things that you can do before you even hit the record button to make you feel more comfortable on camera so let's jump right in. One thing you can do is to actually do some research on YouTube. So go to YouTube and look at popular videos and see how they are presenting themselves because what's working for them might work for you as well. Now I'm not suggesting you copy them because you're not them. Um, you want to be unique and yourself, but it's a good idea to see what's working and see how you might be able to utilize that in your own presentation style. So go to um, the most popular videos and see what they're doing. Um, or the uh, video creators that is. And um, also look in your specific niche. So depending on whatever your niche is, look specifically at what's working in that um, niche as well. And then see what kind of things you can incorporate in your own presentation style that um, would work for you and your audience. Another thing you want to do is to practice regularly. So the first thing you can do is to practice in front of the mirror. And you can do this by, um, you don't even have to have a script, you can just talk in front of the mirror and just look at your mannerisms. How are you acting? How is your energy? Are you smiling? You want to look into the mirror and pretend that that is the person that you are going to be presenting on camera and check to see that everything is coming over well um, and naturally. The next thing you want to do is to practice in front of the camera because that ups the reality a bit more. So you, even if you don't turn the record button on to start with, practice talking in front of the lens as if it's your best friend. And then when you're ready, you can push the record button and then again start practicing and look at your mannerisms, look at your energy levels, are you smiling? And work these things out so that by the time you actually hit the record button, these are things that are more natural to you. The other thing is to take advantage of video on social media like Instagram stories and uh, Snapchat, Facebook Live, um, Facebook stories as well. And all of these different things can help you to feel more comfortable on camera. It ups the game again because especially if you're doing live videos, it really just puts you on the spot. But that's really good because even though it moves you out of your comfort zone, it's going to help you to get more confident. But it does mean that you don't have to worry about these nice big polished performances on YouTube. And to be honest, we don't want polished performances anyway. People want to see the real you and you can develop that and really hone in on that um, on these social media platforms. And then once you feel really comfortable with that, you can then translate that into your YouTube videos as well. The other benefit of this is that you can also build your audience and really connect with your community at the same time. So those are some things you can do in order to feel more comfortable on camera way before you even hit the record button. Let me know in the comment section below if there's any other tips and tricks that you found helpful in order to feel comfortable on camera because it's great if we can just help each other with those ideas. And um, if you're interested in more tips and tricks on visual media or building your own courses or what it's like behind the scenes of aim on building a business, then please hit the subscribe button and you can check out some more videos right here. And if you like this video, please hit the like button and we will talk soon.